Ooh, how are you guys? It's been a while since I've seen you. Um, I'll explain this in a moment. Let me take a sip of this lovely coffee I have here in this fancy dancy cup. Mm. So, this is my friend. This is Injured Chef. And he's holding my volcano bag for me right now. Isn't he awesome? Pretty creepy, but serves a purpose. I'll tell you about the purpose later. Back to me. Okay, I'm using like a tripod today, and it sucks. It sucks. Oh, I almost spilled the coffee. Okay, this is not good. This is what I get for trying to use technology. Ta da! All right. Thanks for holding that for me, Mr. Chef. Appreciate that. So, you notice some things have changed. Normally, I'm smoking a bowl or a joint, but we've got this ginormous volcano bag here that I'm keeping on. It's kind of like playing a reverse bagpipe, you know? You're not blowing into it, I'm just like... Oh, that was a good tune. Anywho, um, I'm sorry I've been so absent. I have been prepping for shows and doing all this stuff. Real quick, look at this cute little squirrel that's eating a strawberry. You're adorbs. What's up, squirrely squirrel? Join that berry? Um, tripod again. Anyhow, I uh, miss you guys. It's been a while. I'm all over the place right now. I've been busy. Long story short, I've been busy. I'm not going to make excuses. I have a life. Things are things. I've been busy. But I was also having a quandary of uh, not having anything new to make for you guys. But then I realized looking at other candy making shows and channels and whatnot, they're not making anything new either. They're just making like hard candy with different flavors. Like, oh, today we're making banana, and today we're doing pineapple strawberry. But it's the same damn candy. I don't know where to look. I'm like, where do I look? Same candy. I think you're just watching for the experience. So like, if I've got this right, if I'm correct, you're all just watching these videos for me? In my entertainment value? That's sh sh shocking staggering. I can even talk shock staggering. Because, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm that entertaining. You could probably just Google a recipe for whatever I'm making today, but I appreciate you being here. So, I'm going to start making a fuck ton more videos, and they might just be the same stuff. I'll try and throw in different ones, but like, hey, why not, right? Oh, yeah. So, today, we are going to be messing around with some, uh... Some creepy candy stuff. It's not really a candy per se. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not, okay. I ordered this big ass bag. Sorry, people are touching me. Of creepy teeth, right? And they looked really real in the image. They were all like orangish, like dentures. And these things look really, really fake. And that's not my jazz, digs, whatever. So we're gonna decorate them today with some luster dust and we're gonna gross them up real good and make them look all like homeless teeth or like, sorry homeless people, that was really mean. Not every homeless person has gross teeth. That was inconsiderate of me. I, I take it back. But we're gonna make them look nasty and gnarled and dead and like just as funky as you can think of. They smell really good. There's strawberry, watermelon, apple, and am I, am I getting this correctly? There's a candy corn flavor? What the fuck? We have strawberry, we have watermelon, apple, and then candy corn. I'm confused. I'm very confused, but it's okay. We'll work it out together, and I'm going to get all my junk in order so that we can do this. Uh, oops. So I just kind of broke this camera mount thing <laughs> that my roommate let me use, but it's clearly a piece of shit. Like, very clearly a piece. So, yeah, I just snapped it. So, no more attempted tripod. Oh well. Okay, here's a couple supplies. Marijuana. We got this luster dust here. This is, uh, edible tints by Sugar Flare. This shit is awesome, you guys. Like, literally, I think it cost me, like, $70 for, like, 50 different luster dust. And I also have... Luster Dust and Sparkle from The Sugar Art. They're awesome. A little pricey, but really, really, really beautiful. Then we got some paintbrushes. And we got some gummy teeth. And we're looking for our uh, containers. Oh! Hey, Injured Chef, you got them. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate holding on to those. 
You're a good friend. Injured Chef's awesome. So I ended up getting some mannequins for this Oddities Expo I'm doing, and they all look like that. And they're kind of creepier than face mannequins, I believe. Like, look at that guy. You're not looking, I'm looking. <laughs> Reminds me of this painting that I have here on the wall. This guy and this chick, because there's not really a gender, but you kind of could tell the guy and chick would be friends with Injured Chef, I believe. Anyway, we are going to find a place to put this camera because I literally, or phone, because I literally just snapped the shit out of that mount thing trying to rig it to make it work. No, nope, no, working, it's broken. I won't tell my roommate. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay. Get some scissors and cut these things. Boom. Boom, as they fly everywhere in your house. Boom. That's kind of satisfying. Let's do a few more. Boom. 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 Ah! Okay, now, now collect the mess you've made. And also, open the tops. Oh. Whoa, that one was already cut. So is this one. What the deuce? Oh. <gasps> Awesome! I must have went in before and pre-cut the tops. Ah, stoner stuff. I'm so smart. Let's see, is there one here that isn't like that? No. Okay, cool. Cool. I was going to tell you, cut these lids off. Because when you're trying to manipulate these little things, the lids just get in the way and make them go boo. And then you got shit all over the place. And it's a pain in the ass. So I'm going to pick some luster dust colors that I think would be good for rotten teeth. I think we're gonna go with uh, some green, brown, black, dark colors, maybe a gray, but I'm also gonna grab a peachy tannish color to try and get the gums the right color. And I've never done this before. This is a total experiment. Uh, I've never worked on gummies with luster dust, so I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm imagining it will for shading, but normally I would mix the luster dust with some kind of alcohol, high grain, Everclear, alcohol or something like that and make a paint. And I might have to do that. We'll see when we get to that point, I guess. I think I need more reverse bag type. Oh yeah. If you guys don't have a volcano, I understand why. They're like $700. But this fucking thing's amazing. I'm not sponsored by a volcano. No one pays me. No one sponsors me at all. So I'm surprised people even watch. So no one's paying me for this. But amazing machines. Like, I've smoked weed my whole life. I'm 40 years old this year. I mean, I haven't been smoking since birth, but, you know, 30 some odd years. And I used to cough all the time. And even after quitting cigarettes, I cough all the time. <laughs> and uh, now, I don't. And I feel great. Like, and I can still smoke a joint occasionally here and there. It doesn't bother me. But, like, this thing is amazing. Get you high. Fuck. Where am I looking? Fuck. Literally. And, like, keeps you stoned. Unlike a bowl or whatever where you're like, eh, 15 minutes. And then, like, <sighs> Super awesome thing, and I totally think everyone should own one of these. They're the bomb. All right, be right back with the colors. Okay, I have, oh shit, I didn't take out the red. Five colors, I've got this autumn gold, it's like yellow. I've got a matte black. I've got, what's this called? A uh, gooseberry, that's awesome. I got a chocolate brown. And then this one is apricot. It's kind of like, where's the damn camera? Like peachy. That kind of reminds me of gums more than this hot pink. And I have separated them into their own little pots here. And here's the red. It's, shit, where's the camera? It's really red. Very saturated colors these are. And they're all food safe and I think vegan, FDA, blah, 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 blah. So we got a few small paint brushes, nothing gigantic. Little ones will be better for crevices and whatnot. So I'm just gonna open this bag and we're gonna take one out and see what happens. I just tried one. We're sour. It tastes like. Oh. So it's making me drool too much. That's good though. Um, it tastes like Haribo gummy bears. Those are really good. I'm so glad this tastes good. I had no idea what it tastes like, so I'm like, nah, let's try one. Now I have teeth on my hands. Good. good though. Okay, I'm already convinced that this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I've already convinced myself that this is not gonna be enough, and I'm I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. But we're gonna we're gonna try it for posterity, for you uh, simpletons of science. 
So, um, alright. Hmm. I might have to retract my statement. Now it doesn't look real at all. What the hell, though? Hold on, I'll show you what I've done in just a moment. This is going to be harder than anticipated. All right, rub those gums. Oh, yeah. Does that feel good, gummy teeth? Oh, yeah. I imagine they have a deep voice. That's where that came from. All right. All right, so this is untouched. That's with the orange. But I feel like now it's, I mean, it looks more real. Legit, like when I hold it up like that, it does look more like dentures. So, all right, let's just roll with that. And then we're going to come in with, uh, how about some brown? And I'm doing a little like tap, tap, tap because, yeah. And I'm going to come in with the brown underneath the teeth right there. Because when you see people's teeth decaying and all fucked up, you can usually see it at the base of the teeth. So I'm going to give it some funk. And I'm going to go in between the gums so you get that extra dirt definition going on. I'll show you all in a sec. I'm sorry I can't like have a better angle for you. If anyone wants to donate a freaking camera or something like tripody or I don't know. I said potty. <laughs> that would be lovely. Alright, so already grosser already way cooler but we're not going to stop there we're going to find a couple more brushes that work a little better for our purpose and we have a ton right here here's a tiny one that's good and i think that's all she wrote maybe this this one that just came apart yeah okay I'm gonna add some green i'm gonna come in with this itty bitty little tiny dude and just come in with the gross green. And you know green and brown is like such a good combo for teeth. I'm just gonna dot the green around. I don't want the whole mouth to look moldy. I just want a hint. We're doing layers here. We're layering up for an effect. Okay. Yep. Okay, now I think I'm gonna pause, stop, whatever, and I'll get back to you. So this is what we started with. And this is where we're at now. Nice and yellowed, and there's a little bit of green over there, and there's brown. What would make these amazing is if I sprayed them. Should I spray them for you guys? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. Ooh, I love them. I love it when I'm doing something and I've never done it before. And I'm like, what the fuck? This, how am I going to do this? I hope it turns out okay. And then I do it and I'm like, it's great. Look. Oh my God. Those are amazing. I got to take a photo. Yup. Those look scungy and disgusting and wonderful. I'm so proud. From... Well, those are deformed. From this to this, folks. In just a few simple steps. Well, that was gummy teeth. That was just one of many weird things I'm making for this festival. Um, yeah, I'll make more short videos like this because I feel bad for not making them. If they're entertaining, you'll watch them and I'll know by the likes and the comments. And if they're not entertaining, I will know to either change the, you know, fucking content or just stop making them. I won't stop. So yeah, um, Injured Chef and I just want to wish you a happy Saturday and hope that, I don't fucking know, I'm trying to think of an ending. Hope you guys have a great day. If you want to like and subscribe, kick ass right on. If not, I don't care. I hate it when I like, click that bell, click that like, subscribe button. Literally like two seconds after the video started. I don't care. It's up to you guys. This is your world, your life. Do what you want. Awesome sauce. I hope to see you soon. Have a kick-ass day.